What does a Palo Alto middle school teacher do when her kids grow up and leave home and she's looking for something new? Well, one of them, Kelly Kobza, rather impulsively hopped on a plane to Haiti to help with the earthquake relief and ended up staying there and creating a very successful nonprofit organization that develops primary school education programs and sustainability projects in Haiti. Unfortunately, we were not able to interview her here because she's in Haiti. But we did find some footage of an interview that was shot when she was last in Palo Alto. When the earthquake hit in January, January 12, 2010, I was sitting in Palo Alto preparing to head off to do some philanthropic work in Central America. Uh, but I realized Haiti really needed somebody now. And the images of the people suffering and day in and day out, and not the same images, but repeated images, and children <laughs> just suffering. It was just too much, and I thought, well, if you're gonna go and help people, why not Haiti? They need it now. I've been in third world countries, but I've not been in places where I saw so much so quickly. And I was just stunned, building after building after building, completely pancaked. The damage was unbelievable. I wasn't prepared for what I would see. You know, before January 12th, 2010, I knew Haiti was a country, but I had no idea. I had no idea what Haiti was about, none. I've now learned that Haiti is the poorest nation in our hemisphere and might actually be the poorest nation in the world. It's considered the third poorest nation in the world. When you see the people starving, and you see people who you know haven't eaten for days, it's impossible to eat your meal without thinking, what can I do? About halfway in, I was determined that I would come back and that I would focus on trying to help solve some of these problems. So I went back to California, talked to my friends and family and said, this is what I wanna do. Everybody was excited, friends and family donated to my cause to what I was doing and off I went a month later I was back in Haiti it's unbelievable what you can do with simple simple ideas I went to the village the first thing I did trees for free World Vision International <laughs> volunteers from the village and we planted 1500 trees in three months an amazing act they realized that I was a teacher and started asking me well why don't you do something in education? Oh, yes, please. At, at about the same time, one of the boys who I befriended, a little guy named Titen, who was carrying buckets of water from me, for me from the fountain, I realized he didn't go to school. At 12 years old, he's not going to school. He's not attending. I thought, well, aren't there any remediation schools? No. Well, why not start a remediation school? So. Reading and writing in Creole, a little bit of math, a little bit of geography, but that's it, four hours a day. We started in January. These children had no letter recognition. They didn't know how to read or write their own names, but within two weeks, they were recognizing all, all the letters of the alphabet. They were reciting them. They were proud, they were pleased. <laughs> they were really beautiful children. They are beautiful children. Um, now, in June, they finished their first six months of school. All of them are reading. They're reading. It's an amazing thing to see, and to see the children sitting there reciting things and actually reading, following their finger, reading themselves, and turning and looking at me like, ha, I did it. <laughs> it's one of the most amazing things I've ever done. And the most crucial piece, one solid meal every day, because these are the poorest of the poor, that's why they're not going to school, and they're not really eating every day. Some of them don't eat for two and three days at a time. So a meal every day, it's not too much to ask. Or give, it's not too much to give. The experience was unbelievable, and it changed me. For the rest of my life, it changed me. And it was just one simple thing. Kelly, three months, go and do this. I had $300 and a return ticket. Very simple, very simple. What I would like to say 
to the rest of North America is do it. If you have any inclination to take a break, whether it's a week, a month, a year, or the rest of your life, to supporting humanity, do it. You'll never look back.